So you want to shoot straighter. You want to learn from the experts. Well, you don't get more expert than George Digweed, 19 times world champion across four decades of international competition. British, yep. And now the holder of the world record for longest oh. clay shot, 130 yards at Bisley Live. That's more than four times the distance of a good pheasant. Field Sports Channel was there. Everyone was impressed. The film has gone viral, especially across the United States, and has been seen by more than 10,000 people. Here's Simon Barber from the governing body for clay pigeon shooting in England, the CPSA. We were talking with George Digweed at Bisley Live very recently and he was advocating encouraging people to come into the sport at any level, not necessarily with the aspiration of achieving gold at the Commonwealth Games, but actually just to get a taste for the sport, find out which discipline of clay shooting suits them and then further develop their abilities there to the level that suits them. Again, it doesn't have to be competitive level shooting. George is a magnificent ambassador for our sport, isn't he? Does, he is does, indeed, Does yeah. he do a great deal for the CPSA? He does a huge amount for us, yes. He's a great uh, advocate of, of the association and um, supports us in many ways. Um, and, um, yeah, we're, we're proud to have him as, as part of our uh, membership, yeah. So how does George shoot so straight? Here are the tips from the great man himself. Feet position and head position of any sport, whatever you do, whether it's golf, cricket, tennis or shooting is key. It's 80% of what you do. Your feet have got to be in the right position to keep your body square and your head must remain still. There are no sportsmen that play at a top level, any, any sport anywhere in the world, where their head oh. moves. And your body must be able to rotate through the target so that you can't stop the gun. By reaching the end of your... Yeah. Exactly right. So you stand further round to where the gun um, is going to finish and you, un you, you coil back so that you're slightly uncomfortable when you start and you turn your body through the target as you're going. So, you know, that, that allows the gun to release. You fire the shot and the gun then carries on to where it's going to finish, allowing the gun to keep moving and so the, the shot string goes out in front of the target. So if somebody had to, wanted to take away one or two points from this film, those would be the ones you'd say are the most Yeah, important. I mean, practice and practice in a discipline. You know, learn a discipline to start with so that as you go on to shoot, you know, you're, you're standing there, you, you have to break every target. You know, take each stand of 10 targets as an individual stand. So, you know, you shoot 10, you try and break as many of those 10, move on. So you build a score rather than take from the top, which is a lot of you know a lot of people do. They hear the top shot saying, "Oh, I'm four or five down," as though they're going to shoot a hundred straight, and they take away from their maximum score. Whereas a score should always be built. You shouldn't go out oh. with a score in mind and subtract from that score every time you miss. For more about George, visit www.georgedigweed.com and for more on how to join the CPSA, go to www.cpsa.co.uk.